I'm in Copenhagen airport on my way. I'm going to travel and I like very much to go to Åmands for a snack before I leave. I will have Danish smørbrød, Danish opened in a second. I just grabbed the menu card with the smørbrød. You have here in potato, tatar, chicken salad, rum steak, cheese and uh, sea boiled scrimps. Well, to me, tatar is number one, so I'll order one quickly before I take off. In the Montreux you can see some samples of the modern smørbrød that you can get here in the airport before you take off. Oh, I got it. My favorite smørbrød here, the tatar at Oman's. And I'll grab a bite at once. It's really a good way of starting your travel before you leave Copenhagen Airport to have this wonderful smell of wood. I used to get the tatar with the Riesling. And um, yeah, well, 130 Danish kroner, that's a price. Here for a glass of Riesling and a smell of with tatar. Not long ago, I was talking with Ada Moorman about his tatar. So now I will take you back to the old man's deli and he will talk about the tatar. Hi, Adam. Hi, Katrine. It's uh, really nice to meet you here in your shop in the center of Copenhagen, old man's deli. But, you know, every time I'm traveling, I'm having tatar in the airport. Could you tell just a little about this tata? And it, I always, always also have Riesling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad this has become a tradition for you. Um, well, the Danish tata actually is uh, the, the classic one. Uh, is, is, is not the really the I, I don't I don't do it the very classic way. The classic Danish tata is is kind of a bland piece of meat that hasn't got any uh, salt or anything. It's just plain meat with a a bunch of uh, Beetroots, uh, pickled beetroots, uh, pickle, capers, horseradish, onions around it, and then you mix it all up together on your plate. I like it more uh, the taste combined. So our tata is, uh, is mixed with uh, whole grain mustard, a bit of um, cold pressed uh, rapeseed oil, salt, and freshly grated pepper, of course. And then you have the sort of the base for the tata, the taste in the meat. And then on top of that, we add uh, crispiness from, it could be potatoes, uh, toasted hazelnuts, uh, crispy rye bread. We uh, also often make an emulsion based on egg yolks uh, or cooked egg yolks, uh, maybe with some herbs in it, maybe uh, with uh, some um, um, root vegetables that have been blanched and, and then drained. Yeah, it's so good. And then a bit of vegetables, pickled yeah. vegetables on top. Yeah, and yeah. now when you explain me, I can understand why I'm addicted to this. 